Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel On the menu today I'm going to make some fantastic bacon and mushroom cream pasta With some macaroni In here I've got a touch of oil, I'm using a sunflower oil today Go ahead and use whatever one you want And I've got some chopped or sliced garlic there There's about three cloves there Some black pepper We're going to add a touch of salt. We can always add a little bit more later. And then we're going to go in with our bacon. I've got, as you can see here, like lardons or chopped bacon. This is the, a cooking bacon, so it's quite chunky, you know? It's not kind of thin slices, it's more kind of chunky lumps there, which are great. Now I've got the heat on, very low. Going to touch a little bit of our oregano or oregano. And that goes there. And at this stage, what I want to do is get that bacon cooked with our garlic and that little bit of seasoning. I'll be back in about three or four minutes. There you go, that's been cooking for about three or four minutes. So, a kind of nice gentle heat. It's changed colour somewhat. Now, I told you, and as you can see, my bacon is kind of quite chunky, like I said, kind of chunky cut cooking bacon but you can use regular bacon no problem it's entirely up to you I am now going to go in with some nice sliced onion I'm using a white onion for this today and again we're going to continue cooking this for about another three or four minutes I may increase the heat just a tad now I've got a pan just over this side over this on the back here which has got some water boiling which I'm going to cook my macaroni in and this uh, type of bacon and mushroom mac and cheese it's got no flour in it we're not going to make a bechamel we're just going to add cream and it will thicken with our cheeses and also be really careful of the amount of salt you put in because we've got bacon salty and then I'm going to put about four different types of cheese in this, again salty, so you're not going to need to add lots of salt. And that cheese is what's going to thicken the sauce, go into the pasta, and then we're going to put some into a oven dish. Put a bit more cheese on it, throw that in the oven and it's done. This is really lovely, really simple. Okay, I'll be back in three or four. So this is looking really nice. I like to cook it on a kind of low heat so I don't want it to get all crispy I actually don't like it all crisp together it's not my favourite way to eat it now just to let you know at the back there my water is raging hot that's when you put your pasta in that's going to cook away so my max cooking away right now now it's time for some mushrooms quite a lot of mushrooms and thinly sliced you know really nice and thin in they go. I'm using a white button mushroom. Now this may look like loads, but they will cook down quite a lot and give off a little bit of moisture. So again, let's cook this and stir it often. And I'll be back again in about four to five minutes time. Here we go then, as you can see those mushrooms really cooked down they looked like a huge amount before didn't they but now it looks like a good balance I cut them really thin as I said and that's really kind of quite essential I find for this dish right now I'm gonna add some single cream in that goes And we've still got the heat on here. We've got some lovely flavours going on in there. And then I'm going to introduce some cheese. I've got some red Leicester there. I've got some grated cooking mozzarella, some Parmesan cheese and a nice mature English cheddar. And they're all going to go in. It's quite a lot of cheese. And we're going to give that a mix. 
and as the heat gets through this cream and cheese it will melt the cheese and thicken the sauce you're gonna have a fantastic creamy sauce here now you can use any cheese you like you don't have to use four cheeses you could just use one cheese and if it was going to be one cheese I'd use a nice cheddar or maybe mozzarella although mozzarella doesn't have a massive taste I think it's not really strong but it is kind of stringy that's the mozzarella doing that kind of stringy effect as you can see there but yeah I mean I like this four cheese look at that you can see it's really got thick now that is wonderful super thick okay I'm going to turn off the heat here there we go we're going to drain off our macaroni into a colander we're going to add our macaroni into there we're going to give it a nice mix then I'll show you the next stage thanks so here's the sauce incredibly thick now now it's just kind of cooled down a little bit my pasta's ready and drained off so let's start adding some now this macaroni is a short straight one you get elbow ones as long ones I mean there's lots of different types of, of macaroni so in that goes let's have a little mix here and see how we're doing Looking good to me. Got a little bit more that it can take, I think. There we are. And that is absolutely delicious. I mean, you can just grab a, a bowl full of this now and eat it. It's perfect just like this. What I'm going to do is both. I'm going to eat a bowl of this for sure and then I'm going to get an oven proof dish now put some in we're going to put some additional cheese on top believe it or not and then pop it in the oven so let's do that so yeah I've managed to take about half of that if not more and I've put it into a here you go take a look there this kind of oven proof dish. I mean, this is a ceramic one. You could use a glass one or a metal one if you wanted. And very simply, I'm going to just drop some cheese on the top. I've got a nice grated, mature cheddar. Quite tangy. I'll top that off with some black pepper. And I'm going to pop that in the oven. Just put it in the oven on max. Get it as max as, as heat as you can. Pop it in the middle shelf. It's, everything is in. It's cooked basically, as we know. We've just seen. We just want to kind of get it together, get that cheese melted, and get that nice effect on the top. Now, once this is cooled down, it's going to be so thick you'll be able to slice it. You'll be, you know, slicing it out once once it's kind of out and cooled down. Absolutely delicious. So have it that way. Have it that way. I'm going to pop it in the oven now. See you in a moment. And there we go. That is straight out of the oven. I mean, I can't touch it. It's unbelievably hot. Absolutely delicious. I've just had a bowl while that was cooking of the, um, out of the pan, the pasta out of the pan. Is it good? Oh, yeah. You betcha. So that's it. That's our little version of our bacon and mushroom four cheese mac and cheese. Hope you enjoy it. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.